It's a chilly February night and behind me lit up like tropical fish in an aquarium are over a hundred hopeful darters, all of whom are vying for a place in the UK Open, the FA Cup of Darts, or as Chris Mason refers to it, the FA Cup of Football. Registration is now closed. Famous faces, not wherever you look, but we have unearthed one or two. Alex Roy, blimey, this is a, this is a new challenge, isn't it, in your illustrious career? I haven't got the sponsorship to do the tournaments now. It's uh, doing it the old-fashioned way, the hard way, and, you know, hopefully not get through the back door, but, you know, it's going to be difficult, but, you know, try and get through. 109 players registered. Got a World Championship semi-finalist in our midst as well. Dave Askew, how are you doing? How's the darts? 15 years ago, I'd have looked around and sort of quite fancy my chances of qualifying. The stand is higher and higher. My stand is lower, I guess, you know, but... Yeah, that's what it's all about, enjoying it. It's in your blood, you can't just walk away. Indeed you can't. An air of quiet concentration descends on this central London venue as the first round matches get underway. The standard of darts varying between ordinary and brilliant, much like the quality of the shirts on display. As a casual onlooker, I reckon if you've got your own darts shirt with your own name, uh, you're one of the favourites by definition, aren't you? Um, if you can afford your own dart show with your own <laughs> name, yeah. I've played it at the UK Open Finals. So. It was your major debut, wasn't it, the 2012? It was indeed, yeah. I played there twice uh, at Bolton, as it was then. Um, so, I've, but I've never actually qualified through one of these Riley's qualifiers. So, you know, touch wood, hopefully if I have a good night tonight, then uh, it'll be a first for me. And over the night, names come to prominence, faces make themselves known, and reputations are either ruined or enhanced. Well planned. UK Open is probably one of the best, uh, you know, FA Cup for darts. That's, that's everyone can hope for. So, and everyone in here has got an equal opportunity tonight. A couple of hours in now. The first round is nearly done and dusted. Alex Roy's through. Dave Askew's gone home and some characters are beginning to emerge. With losers relegated to scoring, the night grinds on past the first and second rounds and gradually starting to thin out. Well, we're just coming up to the witching hour. There's about a dozen players, or thereabouts, still in contention. This tournament started on Friday, but we won't know the results until Saturday. And then finally, the lineup for the evening's big finale was almost complete. Two of these men would win through to the UK Open finals. Got four players left. Two of them are going to go to Minehead. This is Dave Webb. Dave's playing Alex Roy. Class showed in the first of the finals. Roy, a comfortable winner. Job done, Alex. Uh, a little bit of history as well you made there, haven't you? Yeah, um, very hard, very hard day's work, but somehow managed to get through tonight. And uh, yeah, st I've still played in every single UK Open, which is just frightening, considering uh, obviously not having the sponsorship and doing it the hard way. Um, I'm very, very pleased, very pleased. And in the other match, it's Chris Aubrey, and Chris is up against John Scott. And Scott followed his old friend Roy, also a 5-2 winner. Congratulations, that's a big one, isn't it? It is a very big one, yeah, and I'm, to be honest, I'm over the moon. I see my very good mate Alex Roy qualifying up on the board over there, and that, that meant a lot as well, to be quite honest. Long day as well, half one in the morning, almost. <laughs> yes, the last, train was at, the last train was at about 20 to 1, so... Uh, there's a cab on its way, I think, but um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm really, really pleased. I don't know how we're getting home, but well done, sunshine.